fairways as you're going to see as he starts his takeoff run. Takeoff max performance maneuver demonstrated by the fly by wire flight controls and the engine performance. The next generation engine technology of the 787 provided by Boeing's partners, either General Electric or Rolls Royce. This particular airplane, powered by the Gen X, the 1B engine, Rolls Royce and the Abbey engine 2 on the uh, 787. I'm fit to go on the 787 next year, we'll probably be successful that bid. Hope so. Dreamliner, as it's called. Remarkable opportunities for airlines around the world to dramatically improve the air travel experience. Indeed, all the air that comes into pressurization doesn't go anywhere near the engines. And I'm told by people who don't really long flights on them that they feel so much better when they get off after a particularly long flight. The Dreamliner family includes three models currently, the Dash 8, the Dash 9, and the Dash 10. family helping airlines open new non-stop routes to make them profitable. To date there are more than 180 new non-stop routes in service and still okay, good fitting for the air. Let the art of life deck balance commonality with the latest enhancements. Technologies are integrated while still maintaining a significant commonality with other Boeing airplanes, particularly obviously the 777. Familiar Boeing controls, displays, procedures all support the shorter transition periods to the 787. Other Boeing family members, I hope so. Full suite of navigation, communications, radios, avionics, dual head up displays, large flat screen multifunctional displays, dual electronic flight flags, EFBs. Electronic checklist all provided as standard, straight off the shelf. Wide format display provide a larger map and enhance access to information about the flight and navigation. Certainly, as I've already mentioned, these large airplanes, the noise must be considerably less. You agree, the 787 is a quiet aircraft. Originally referred to as the 7E7, with the E7 for cushion. Rollout of the prototype was rolled out in Everett on the 8th of July 2007. Of course, if you put that into the style of Americans, you call the dates, that means 787. Nice little fact there. Landing gear supplied by Messier Doughty, wheels fitted with even Messier Bugatti as good with brakes. Cruises along about 0.85 marks, same as the jumbo. Up to 43,000 feet, we're just over 43,100 feet. In terms of range, the dash P has a range of 8,000 miles with about 250 passengers. But really, it depends on what configuration uh, the airlines want. Dash 9, range of 8, 000, uh, over 8,800 miles with 250 passengers. Then it's pretty weak, isn't it? Good stuff. Just as it says how beautiful. approach 
cabin noise quality. There are multi solutions throughout the aircraft. Addresses the cause of annoying noises. What? No big. <laughs> oh no. It was against the vibration suffer of passengers in the armor cabin experience. You'll be landing 06 to reduce the amount of time we spend backtracking aircraft. This is 737. We're waiting just to move the by the side. 787 Dreamliner, turning final to land 06.